Okay, so today I want to make a video on a very, very important topic that I've been thinking about a lot lately, but I usually forget to think about. And I think that it's something that so many people out there, probably you, don't think about nearly enough. But it's such a key thing that you need to keep in mind. Because if you don't keep this in mind, what's going to happen is you're going to fly by through life and you're not going to accomplish the things that you want to. And also, you're going to not have that focus that you need to. And I think I'm going to title this video, Blink and Your Life Will Be Gone. Uh, before we start, I mean, I'm, you can see I'm wearing the tank top. So if anybody out there wants to call me small, you could call me small. And you're probably right. You are right. I'm small right now. But I haven't been able to work out in like two weeks because I broke my hand in a fight on somebody's head, uh, which I do not condone. Do not get it, do not get into fights. This was defensive. I was defending my cousin in this scenario. But yeah, I've only been able to hit legs for two weeks. But besides that, onto the topic. Blink and your life will be gone. What am I talking about? Well, I'm 21 years old. I'm about to turn 22 in less than a month. And literally, it feels like yesterday that I was 16 years old, even that I was 10 years old. And that's over 10 years ago. Literally feels like yesterday. That time went by in an instant. And for much of that time, what did I spend fucking doing? Bullshit activities. Like when I was younger, when I was young, I'm born in 2002. So the internet wasn't that bad before. So the first years, you know, I would go outside. I'd play soccer all the time. I'd be outside with people. But later into my 15, 16, 17, 18, all I did was sp spend time playing video games or on my phone or bur bullshit. You know, this virtual reality that I was in for so many years, fucking off doing nothing. I literally did nothing for so many years. And those years, they feel like they're, they're just gone and they just flash by in an instant. Like I didn't even, like I kind of was a zombie throughout them. And now that I'm 22 years old, honestly, in the last three, four years, maybe the last three years, let's say, or let's use this in the last three years, I've really actually can even say that I've been living in a way or even say that I've been, I'm proud of myself and the things that I've done because I've constantly improved. But from before that time, I feel like the time just flashed by before my eyes. And you'll hear older people talking about all the time, man, the time flies. They're 40 years old. They feel like they were 20 yesterday. So think about that. I'm 21, about to turn 22 now. And yesterday, it feels like I was 10 years old, like I was 16 years old. Like all that time just flew by. Like it doesn't even exist. Like that time I can never get it back. And I think to myself all the time, imagine Ness, that you were grinding, that you were hitting gym from 14 years old, 15 years old, where you would be at now, that you were you know, meditating from that age, that you were focused on actual real stuff, maybe building a business or starting this YouTube channel from back then, how much more successful a channel like this would be, how much more I would learn if I was reading, if I was not putting that time into nonsense video games, if I was being more social from that time, if I was talking to more girls in that time, how better would, I mean, I'm probably the best that you'll ever find with girls anyways, but uh, <laughs> I just thought that'd be funny to say. It is true though, but Imagine how much better I'd be with girls at that point or with social in social interactions, everything, every piece of my life, how much better it would be if I was focused in that period of my life uh, instead of playing video games. And, and let's be honest, when I look back at it, I, I know some of my friends will talk like, man, I miss those days. And I don't miss those days at all because think about it. My dad, what he would say all the time, and you have to understand my dad is like Eastern European, Macedonian, which is close to Russia. So you got to understand I've got like this stoic man coming to me and this the shit that he would say to me, it hates me so hard to this day when I'd be playing video games and I'd tell him, I'd say, Tato, that's how you say dad in Macedonia. Tato, look, I just I just won the World Cup with Macedonia on this video game. Or look, I just won the Champions League with uh, Arsenal on, on this video game. And he would say, but it's not real though. It's not real. It's just a game. Like it doesn't exist. Nobody cares. You've done something. You've wasted, I've wasted hours of my life playing a video, video game just to brag to my dad that I did something in a virtual world that doesn't exist. So think about this. Or, or maybe many of you are playing a video game and you're upgrading, you're leveling up your character. It doesn't exist. You haven't leveled up anything. It's all just in the air. And if you like playing video games, go ahead, play video games. But if video games are your life, if you're spending all your time on video games, trust me, you're not going to be fulfilled. And me personally, my life has gotten so, so much better since I've stopped playing video games. But this isn't specifically to hate on video games. It's just the point that, listen, if you're not where you want to be in your life right now in this moment, if leading up to this moment, you haven't done the things you've wanted to do in your life, maybe you've been scared to do them, maybe you've been held back by other people or by yourself. Ultimately, we're just, hold, we're just held back by yourself. And you're not where you want to be in life. And you keep saying... You know, I'll start going to the gym tomorrow. I'll start eating clean tomorrow. I'll start that business tomorrow. I'll talk to that girl tomorrow. I'll, I'll make new friends tomorrow. I'll get more social tomorrow. 
you know what's going to happen? You're going to wake up tomorrow and tomorrow you're going to be 30 years old. For me, I'm 22 now. Tomorrow for me, when I say I'll do it tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to be 30 years old. If you're 15, 16, tomorrow you're going to be 22 like me, graduating college, and now you actually have to start your life. And luckily for me, I realized this two, three, four years ago that I was doing nothing with my life and I started to make a change. So now when I'm graduating college, man, I feel great. I'm going, I'm doing exactly the things that I wanted to do in life. But some people don't realize until much, much later. Some people earlier, if you're 16 and you realize this, amazing for you. Guess what? You're fucking three, four years ahead of me when I realized. So think about the advantage you have there. Think about if you realize right now when you're a 16 year old coming out in high school or whatever, and you think, put the video games down, put the bullshit down, stop jerking off, stop doing all this nonsense, get in the gym, stay focused, work on yourself and, and whatever else, maybe start a business, whatever it is, work on yourself, become the best person you can be and then see where you are at my age at 22. But if you don't, if you say, I'll do it tomorrow, you know, like everybody says, I'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow, you're going to wake up, you're 22. And when you're 22, you're going to say, I'll do it tomorrow. And you'll wake up and you're 30. And when you're 30 years old, you're going to say, I'll do it tomorrow. And you wake up and you're 50. And then when you're 50, you're going to say, I'm going to wake up tomorrow and I'll do it tomorrow. And you're going to be fucking dead. That's what you're going to be. You're going to be dead. So, so you'll never get that time back. So uh, if you're truly happy doing what you're doing and you love playing video games and wasting your time in a virtual world, go ahead, do it. But I don't think you are. I don't think you are. I wasn't. I, I think most people want to live in this real world. And I think video games is just an escape for us for instead of confronting reality and becoming the best version of ourselves in reality, we do it in a video game. That's my opinion on it. And that's not going to change because I understand that this world is not video games, virtual world, online, social media, YouTube, whatever. This world is what we do in this present moment, what I can see, what I can hear, who I can touch. Those are the real things in this world, not video games, not none of that bullshit. And here's the thing. You're a kid right now. You're 16, right? Do you want to be a kid forever? I don't think you do. And in my opinion, at 16, you should be already be a man at that point. And eventually your parents are going to take care of you. And some of you, maybe your parents passed away and you realize sooner than later that you have to get your shit together and you have to be a provider. You have to be the man of the house. Others are more pampered like myself who have their parents there and can do stuff for them. And that's harder if you if you think about it because you don't actually have to do anything. You kind of have an excuse to be lazy. But don't let the external circumstance dictate what you're going to do. If you're pampered or whatever, you still have to become a man because the time will come where it's all going to be on you. It's already on you already. You just don't realize it. That moment hasn't come where your parents have passed away or where you've graduated college or high school and now you're out on your own. You have to make it for yourself. So basically, this whole video, all I want to say really is, really think about this, man. If you don't take action today, if you're not where you want to be and you're not on that path and you don't have that direction in your life to get where you want to be, to have maybe the su success financially or with your physique or with girls, a wife, uh, great friends, great deep family relationships, a great social life, uh, in the career or the hobby, whatever it is, if you're not there yet, and you keep saying that I'll do tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to come 10 years later. You're going to wake up and that's going to be your tomorrow. You're not going to do it. And you're going to, you're going to look back at the time and you're going to think, man, where did the time go by? Because you blink, you blink and it's all, it's gone in an instant. This, it's all goes by so fast in an instant. You think you have time. You think you have time, but if you keep messing around and you keep saying tomorrow, you'll realize that you don't fucking have time and fortunate or unfortunate. I think this is a very fortunate thing because that's what makes life special. The fact that you don't have all this time, the fact that you have to do what you have to do right now. And by the way, I'm saying 30, 50, 80 years old, whatever, 22, you have to realize you might not even make it to that age. I might not even make it to 30 years old. So that that's, that's a blessing if I get to that age. So you have to think about that as well. Every day that you get, that's just another, another, you're very lucky to have that day in general. So don't take that for granted. And yeah, man, I think I think that's where I got to kind of edit here I'm going on for a while. But listen, man, I feel like I was 10 yesterday. I feel like I was 16, 10 minutes ago. I'm 22 now. I feel like I was 22 when I'm 30. Like it's it's it is what it is. That's how life goes. But you have to think about that and you have to realize that unless you have some urgency in your life, unless if you're not going in the right direction, if you're unhappy with your life, you have to make a change now, right now. Because if you say tomorrow, you're going to wake up tomorrow and tomorrow is going to be you at 30 years old or 
on and on and on and on and on. And you're going to say, what the fuck? What did I do with my life? But you have this opportunity right now, right now to change that. You have this opportunity right now. Okay, so I think that cut out like mid-speech. I think I was talking about like, you have this opportunity right now to make a change, to take that action, to become the person that you want to do, that you want to be step by step. But it starts right now. And it starts by that. None of that bullshit. I'll do it tomorrow. You have to do it today because like I said, tomorrow means 10 years from now, 20 years from now until you're dead. So you have to do it right now. Um, but, you know, take that first action. Realize that this time is precious. It's going to pass by. We all know this. We all look back in time. We say, where did the time go by? You know this. I know this. The old people who have so many regrets know this better than anybody. You do not want to be like them. Think about that. Think about 80 years old. You're, you're on your deathbed, let's say. And you're thinking back to your life. All the things that you could have been. The things that you could have done. And you haven't done any of them. If that doesn't motivate you. If that doesn't drive you. If that doesn't make you see how important it is to take action in this moment. Then I think you're helpless. But I know that you're not helpless. I know that you've got this. I know that you're, you're going to be the man that you want to be. I trust that. I know that it's in your head, it's in your heart. And if you have it there, if you keep this in your mind and you have that focus and you have that desire, that motivation to get there and you're not gonna be motivated all the time, but you get disciplined and you we put systems in place to keep yourself disciplined. And once you form habits, it's easy. You gotta form habits in these areas and then it's easy. You've got direction, you've got action that you're taking step by step and then you will get to the place that you wanna be. And for me, that's just being the best man that I can possibly be, being the ideal version of myself in all areas of life, you know, as a person, uh, which will manifest itself financially with my wife, whoever that's going to be, with my family, with my friends, etc. So think about this. Don't waste your fucking life, man. Take action today. Stay focused. And like I said, blink and your life is gone in an instant. Do not waste it. Think about this and be better than you were yesterday, boys.